Hello everyone, Miss R here to show you how to do shaving cream marbling. It is so cool. All you need is some sort of like liquidy color. You can use like food coloring that come in those droppers. I'm using liquid watercolors because that's what I have in my art room right now. And I just mix it with a little bit of water. You obviously need some shaving cream and some sort of tray to put the shaving cream on and a way to get the color onto the shaving cream. So step number one is literally to just spray shaving cream on your tray or plate, whatever you're using. That's it. Uh, oops, sorry, got a little stuck. There we go. Okay. Oops, okay. Get that off. Perfect. Want every ounce of shaving cream possible. And then you want to have some sort of like utensil to or tool to like mix the shaving cream right now. In this example, I'm using toothpicks and I don't like it as much and you'll probably see why. Anyways, you start to drip the color that you're using, the liquid watercolors, the food coloring, whatever you got, and start dripping it onto the shaving cream. And for this uh, example in this video, I'm using just uh, magenta and yellow. For some reason, those two colors were like speaking to me today. And I think maybe I was inspired by the color orange and I wanted to try to make my own orange with this. I don't know. Once you have all the drops you want on the shaving cream, you take your mixing utensil and you literally just kind of move it through the shaving cream to get the colors to start mixing. I found with this toothpick though, because it's so small and so thin, I had to go back and forth a lot to get the swooshing marbling look that I really wanted. And when I, I'll tell you later, hold up a second. We're going to take a piece of paper and we're actually going to print it onto the paper. I'm going to lay it the paper flat onto the shaving cream and push it into the shaving cream, rubbing it a little bit here and there to make sure the color's all there. And you can see I almost pulled it up, but I was like, mm, I don't think it's ready. So I went back and rubbed it a little bit longer. And then I pull it off when I feel like I've gotten the color I needed. And then I remembered, oh shoot, I also need a piece of cardboard to scrape off this shaving cream. So I went to go get a piece of cardboard. So then I can start sh literally taking off the shaving cream off the paper. Um, for the first stroke, for whatever reason, I did it off camera to make sure it worked. I don't know. Uh, so then I finally moved the tray out of the way to then scrape the rest of the shaving cream off. And then the pattern that I made, the marbling is revealed. And the wasn't my favorite out of the bunch that I made today. It was, it's okay, but I definitely want to try again. So I just took the same shaving cream and I kind of laid it flat again and started dripping the colors on there. And I start to use, you'll see, I switched the toothpicks for the popsicle sticks. And I enjoyed the pop popsicle sticks way more because I think they had a, it has like a bigger surface area. So I was getting bigger swooshes and sweeps and a bigger marbling look. And you'll see that when I start to mix it with the, oh my gosh, I almost called it a toothpick. A, popsicle stick so see how the swooshes get bigger and they weren't they're not as like tiny teeny tiny like they were with the toothpick so definitely my favorite way to do this is with a popsicle stick once i get the swooshes to where i want it it's time to start putting the paper laying it flat on top of that shaving cream again and just rubbing it like crazy to get the color to soak into the paper Adding it in. See like how the color, I think it, the color state got more vibrant because I didn't use the toothpick. I don't know because you'll see this paper is picking up the color more because you can see it soaking through than with the toothpick. Why that happened, I don't know. Maybe one of you might know, but this was my, I made four in this video. This is my third favorite. <laughs> And again, just going to scrape it off and look at it. It's so fun. It's like the biggest reveal. Like, oh, ah, when you rip, you uh, take the shaving cream away. It's so cool. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, yeah. And so I'm really excited by what's happening in this shaving cream on my tray. So I put this one to the side and I was like, I really want to experiment because this color, the colors were just working for me with this shaving cream print. So I was like, I wonder if I can take a second print from the shaving cream. So I just put a paper right on it right after I pulled that one off and did the same technique, rubbing it nice and flat, pushing it into the foam, rubbing it a little bit, like nice and softly. I'm not, I'm not pushing too hard. It's like a, a light pressure onto the paper. 
and making sure I get every little area rubbed and you can see my hands are getting covered in shaving cream and I don't care because it's so fun oh my goodness and so you're like right now it looks like uh, okay I see a lot of colors I'm gonna scrape it away and this is my favorite this is my favorite one I've done today like look at this <gasps> oh it looks like such a colorful like countertop marble like it looks like what marble stones look like it's very swooshy and I like that it's a little more pastel it's not as vibrant but has areas of vibrancy in it Ooh, I love it and there's a little more of that like orangey color that the magenta and yellow did to mix but this is how I reset my tray I'm gonna use this shaving cream probably one more time uh, because the shaving cream is not too dark in color or doesn't have too um, much of the liquid water color in it because you see the shaving cream's not as white as it was at the beginning. It's a little bit of orange. And I'm okay with that because I'm just going to experiment one more time. But if it's starting to get really dark, it the colors won't be as vibrant. And the marbling technique won't look as... Um, wouldn't, it won't look as defined if you continue to use the same shaving cream. So if it gets to a state where it's really, really dark or brown or grayish colors... That's when you can just literally, it's so cool, you just wash off the tray because it's shaving cream and it's a, it's safe to go down a drain. You just wash it off the tray and restart. Uh, but this one, I thought it'd be interesting because I'm using white paper to use an orange color paper because that's the colors that magenta and yellow, when magenta and yellow mix, they make an orange. And so I thought it'd be interesting to see what happens when you put it on colored paper. Uh, I do have a theory that if you use too like dark of a color like maybe like a purple or even like even a dark green I don't know if the marbling will show up so if you want to try that and experiment with it go for it and let me know what it looks like but I wanted to see what happens when you marble onto a colored piece of construction paper and so I'm just like every other example I'm just dropping the colors onto the shaving cream once I've got enough colors that I like I just start to swoosh it around and mix it up to create a cool like swooshy organicness to the colors and then I laid the paper flat push down just ever so lightly but enough to get the paper into the shaving cream and start to rub it nice and smooth and I'll pull it back and then you'll see that I'm like ooh, it looks like I missed this spot and so I kind of just stick it back on there. Again, this is a whole experiment piece. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I just wanted to see what happened. So like, look, I pick it up. There's that little spot there. And I kind of examined it to see if there's any color. And there was some. But I thought, well, let's just put it down again. See what happens, right? What's the harm in trying? And so I did it. And I was like, okay. And again, I lay it flat. Take my piece of cardboard and scrape it away. And this one is I def definitely like my second favorite. This one is so cool because it almost looks like it's not real. And it's like very, because the pink and the yellow kind of formed to make this cool orange and the pink made a darker orange. It, I don't know. It's just so cool to me. I can't explain why. I just feel something really cool on the inside. But here are all of the four prints all together. And I would love to hear which one is your favorite. I think this one definitely is my top tier favorite one right now because I like that little hint of the orange. I hope this helps and I can't wait to see the colors that you actually choose to use for your marbling and what it looks like in the end. Have a great day everyone and have fun marbling.